I'll show you how to compose a song. Let's just take any scale. Let's just take C major scale. This is the octave. Now, we'll make some bars, some rhythm patterns, like one, two, three, and four, E, N, A. So timing, one, two, three, and four, E, N, A. Some people can call it four, N, 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 four, N, N, N. It doesn't matter. Whatever you say, it. it's just the semi quavers, crochet, crochet, quaver, quaver and there are four semi quavers so this is a rhythm pattern then again you can play you can arrange a different rhythm pattern for example this is a rhythm pattern and it goes on like that you can make one two and three e and a so you have made this one and now you play some notes from C major scale you can take any scale but just for simplicity I'm writing the C major scale now in the one you can start any note for example let's start from D D E and then we move to G A G A then F E these uh, semi quavers F E D C now when you play this sometimes it might not sound as you like I mean some sound can be different so just remove some notes G A you make it G V replace some notes with some other notes to make it sound better or as you desire and then here again you use some notes like a b g b g e and then again in the last you do this one d c e and this is semi quavers when you play semi quavers and we will play consecutive notes conjugative means uh, in an order G to B is a conjugative but if you play G A C then it is not conjugative because the B is missing so conjugative means they are in an ascending or descending but in an order some part of you, you take some part from the scale from C D E is conjugative notes but not C E F because D is missing so here try to use conjugative notes to make it simple and conjugative notes sounds melodic uh, in this semi quaver, we will use uh, F G A B, F G A B, and the ending will be C. So this is a one line, one phase or one line. A song might be of many lines, maybe ten lines, twenty, thirty lines. But we will just start with one line. This is the first line, and similarly you can make different lines so here you need to know that in a line in a phase the ending if it is C then it will sound like an ending and, and if you play some other notes in the ending for example if you play B in the ending then it, the B note is not a good way to end it doesn't sound like an ending this is the property of sound the B note will create a tense in the ending usually in the ending the music have to resolve and be relaxing so you can place G or F and C will be a perfect ending because the song is in, is in C major scale it can be this C or it can be this C <coughs> usually we will not use the B now in the second line also you can use some other timing variations for example one two three and and four now this is called triplet triplet is written like that triplet means one note a single note divided into three part one two three 
timing will be one two ta 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 four one two ta 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 four so third beat is a single beat divided into three parts and all the three parts should sound equally time division will be equal so timing is one two ta 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 four and even you can place one end here to make it sound better so you can play some notes here E F C D G F and B and then one more bow will do one and two and three four so here we'll place a G D G E D C again we end it in the C to make the song like an ending so if any note doesn't sound good you can replace the B any of the note you can replace instead of B you can use some other note like A or any other note so timing is one two three and four one and two three and four one two and three four here one and two three four one and two and three four so that's the timing now there are so many ways of placing the notes here you may write down in a notebook for better understanding and it's not necessary to write down so now we will talk about some ornamentation and articulation articulation means how a note is played a single note for example this D we may play the D note as in soft if it is soft we call it piano or piano pianissimo and if it is louder we call it forte so we can play the D note soft very soft or louder or very louder so up to you this these are called dynamics soft and loud are called dynamics so a note how it is played it is called articulation there are other kinds of articulation in guitar for example you can play the d note um, as tapping or harmonics so there is a different kind of articulation now ornamentation means how the note is changed from d to e for example from D to E you can do hammer you can't do pull off because for pull off uh, the things have to be going lower this is going ascending D to E is going higher so it will be hammer you have option to not to do hammer you can do sliding or hammer you can do now GB you can also do you can also slide since you slide at D to E and again if you slide it might be too dramatic so skip the sliding here and then F E D C so D C you can pull off so you can apply hammering pull off and sliding wherever you want but in every places it might not sound so preferable or sound melodic now you can also use vibrato any note especially in the ending note we use vibrato we write the symbols like this vibrato especially in the ending we use in a, here also we can use but we will not have we will have we will not have time to use vibrato here because the notes will be faster here like ta 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 f d c d so there is no time to use vibrato here usually we will use in the last note because there is some time here there is some time to sustain the note beyond this bar it will go on one two three the note c note will be sustaining a little bit longer to make it sound ending now as i mentioned here you can dc you can pull off this one dc and again you can ce you can slide like that so you can apply so many techniques here to make the sound interesting 
for example more as g d from g to d g to d if you pull off it will be too much dramatic it might not sound good because from g it is going too much lower so you can but you can still try to play it it might sound good g e it might sound good you can use pull off here now d c you can pull off surely so when you compose you have hundreds not hundred not thousands of ways of arranging the notes using the articulation using hammer slide pull off as ornamentation so that way you compose a song and sometimes some lines will sound better some some lines will be sounding interesting some will sound dull so you have to make if it is sounding dull and boring and exciting uh, boring then to make it exciting you use some other notes hmm? use some other note replace the notes and try to play slowly first and focus on the timing don't don't mess the timing don't do mistakes